Hello, welcome back. It's a new day. So let's play some chess. I'm going to go with the standard opening here. I had some decent games last night. I got a three wins last night. I couldn't stop thinking about the queen that I blundered. My opponent gave me the his queen for free and I didn't take it and he took my queen instead. Kind of bothered me all night. But it's no worries. Let's see if we can do better today. Steve O O O. I want to get my bishop uh, on to h5. I'm okay just to develop the bishop there. I think that's okay. I think that puts him into a worse position. Puts his pawns into a weird spot. It's a nice day out, sun's out. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Let's see what he did there. I see, I see. That's a pretty good move by him. Um, how do I follow this up? I think I have to go back, but then he has all three of these squares defended too, which is not great. Hmm. Mm, I think this is really my only move. I don't want to lose my bishop so early. He's being really aggressive with these. I think this is my only move right now. It's it's too early to lose this guy. So I'll probably just try to kick his knight on the next move. I think that's just a free pawn, right? I don't think that actually does anything. I think he just gave me his pawn for free. That didn't seem like the right move for him. Yeah, that seemed like a big mistake from him. Steve, oh, oh, oh. He's protecting his knight there. Okay, that makes sense. I wonder if it matters which side I put this bishop on. The dark square bishop. I wonder if I should just move a pawn instead. Um, oh no, he can just take, he can just capture that. No, I don't want to do that. I guess he can capture any of these really. Um, yeah, I think I'll just try to kick his knight because this. I don't want to put the bishop on c3. I'd rather challenge his knight on d4. That makes sense. I can get my I can get my pawns into a, a decent structure here. I think making a pawn chain 
is the way to go here. Interesting. Oh, so he's probably going to be doing something like this now. Which is fine. So I have one, two, one, two, three defenders on g3. So even if he wants to try something, I'm pretty sure I'll just be ahead in the trade. Castle, I should probably castle too. Is castling the right move here? I I want to I kind of want to move the queen over. So this this square is pretty weak at the moment. I wonder if I could just try to get my queen over here. This is, this dark square bishop of his is causing me a lot of issues. I would like to jump this knight at some point. Maybe just trying to control the center a little bit more is the play here. Interesting. Um, well, he basically just gave me a free dinner. And uh, I'm going to take it. <laughs> I, I do love the low elo games just for that reason. <laughs> That seemed like a really bad move. <laughs> I didn't have to think twice about that. Yeah, I'm not sure what his plan there was. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not going to review that game too much. Um, it looks like I played it okay, and he didn't play very well, so that's fine. I'm pretty happy about that. I feel like that balances out the really bad game that I had yesterday where I blundered my queen, so balance has been restored. Um, That's a free bishop from what I can tell. He doesn't have any defenders on this. I had the exact same thing happen yesterday. Um... I wonder if I should just protect this knight. I think this seems okay. I think he's playing way too fast. Oh. Oh, wow. Uh, I just messed up pretty hard. Um, That's actually not too bad. I think I actually just won. Um, did I just win? Let me think about this. I'm pretty close to a victory. There's checkmate. I can move here. I can go f6, f3. Wow, that was really easy. He resigned way too early there. It's not such a bad position. I mean, all he had to do was just move over one, and then he still had plenty of defense. Wonder what the engine thought about my position there. Wow, 90% accuracy. Well, to be fair, the game was pretty short. Uh, so I had a 1300 rating there. He had 750. What was his move? Yeah, him giving up his bishop there was pretty bad. Um, but me moving the bishop here, I'm surprised this was the best move. I thought that was a blunder, to tell you the truth, moving the bishop to g5. That seemed like it was pretty bad. I mean, I know I could 
just recapture with the queen. But that seemed pretty bad on my part. I'm surprised this was considered a best move. I'm also really surprised that the engine just wanted to trade queens here for him. I wonder why that is. So basically here, I guess at that point my queen has to run back or I just trade. But even if I just trade with them, what can he really do? I mean, he can just do this and then my queen has to run away, which doesn't seem great. Yeah, I'm not really sure why the engine wants him to trade queens there. Um, doesn't really make too much sense to me. Um, okay, those are two pretty good games. Um, almost at 700, which I'm pretty thrilled about. Uh, I'm on a pretty good winning streak. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six game winning streak. That's pretty neat. I'm um, doing pretty good. Okay, let's play a couple more games.